Open Data Resilience Initiative is the World Bank supported project. The, pro the goal of the project is to collect data about the structures of the buildings in Kathmandu Valley. This data will be kept in open domain using OpenStreetMap and this data will be free for anyone to download and use. Hi, uh, my name is Helena Sresto and I work for this project called Open DR in Nepal. And it's been like uh, three months I've been working with this project and uh, uh, since then I have been mapping, mapping, mapping and uh, uh, training other people and uh, you know involving them, uh, getting them excited about open street maps. And today we had this event called the Open, uh, open Street Map Mapathon. And yeah, it was really uh, interesting. We got uh, many people excited and uh, they really had different ideas. And uh, yeah, we have an open community here in Nepal. Say something that will make my day. One of the important activity in the Open Data Day is Mapathon, meaning map in a marathon style. So we have gathered more than 30 students from different colleges, universities, and they are mapping for last about five hours. Uh, this effort is also being supplemented by a group of people from Washington DC and also from London. All I need, all I want. My name is Ryan Somerville and I'm the South Asia region regional coordinator for the Open Data for Resilience Initiative. And I'm here in Kathmandu, Nepal, and uh, we're just wrapping up our inaugural Open Data Day, and we've had a great day. We had about 40 mappers come out, and even though we had to deal with power, power outages and uh, internet connectivity problems, we still managed to get a lot of data entered, and it was really a good day, and everyone had a lot of fun. The data that uh, we gathered today will provide the infrastructure for us to um, enter structural data to the OpenStreetMap, and that will ultimately be applied to a earthquake risk assessment that will then provide information that will really inform disaster risk management efforts in the future. And the interesting thing about today for me is that in a country like Nepal where you have so many kind of political obstructions at the top, you have all these citizens that have the tools and the knowledge that want to get involved, they just desperately need a way to be able to contribute. And having data that is open and free and available in forms such as open street maps is a way for them to do that. So I think that's just such an important way to get youth involved.